Welcome to a sports betting podcast from pregame.com for the week of October 29th, 2009. I'm your host, RJ Bell. I'm joined by Marco D'Angelo, 30 years in the business, Vegas runner, genuine professional batter. First episode this, or first segment this week, one of six segments, college football preview, and we are previewing Georgia, Florida, as usual, Vegas Runner, give us a line report. All right. This one's being played in Jacksonville. The line opened up Florida minus 16 and 49 and a half. Uh, as of today, we're looking at 15 and 48. So a little money come in on the dog and a tad bit on the under as well. And one of the things we talk about is when you have money going against the public team early, you can in Florida being a public team, you can feel pretty confident it's genuine money. Sure. Because the public is likely going to be on Florida. They're saying, we got to rush to get this number. It's too high. So the wise guys seem to like Georgia. All right, Marco, we're a betting show. Give me the one factor that a better better not ignore when he's handicapping this game. The one factor here is which Florida's team's going to come. The last three weeks, they've struggled. Uh, they've been lucky to win their last three games, and that's why I now, think... Is LSU in that group? LSU's in that group. LSU, Arkansas, and Mississippi State. Now, that L was a strong performance, right? LSU, strong performance, but the f offense just didn't... They Whatever it is, to go into Baton Rouge at night and win that game, it's hard to say they're struggling. I'll give you that's that. That's the game you would, if anything, that's the game you would say is the exception to the fact they have been down seemingly this, uh, especially since the beginning of the year, which is an interesting question. Before we finish your point, I apologize for jumping in. What has been their, their defining performances this year? Because the blowouts against the one double A team or whatever yeah. early, is, are, that's irrelevant. So my question is, uh, let's put LSU as a strong performance. What other ones are there? They really don't have a, a complete game yet this year against a quality opponent. And I think that's the main reason you're seeing a line coming down on the game. All right, so when you say which Florida team, are you saying the bad one or the, the above average one we've seen this year versus last year? I mean, has there been that Florida team that is supposed to be? Remember, when the season started, they had the most first place votes than any team yeah. since the polls began. So they were supposed to be the most dominant number one in, in, a long me time. in memory. It certainly hasn't played that way. And they brought back most of their team, except for, per you know, Percy Harvin was the, you know, the one big player that, you know, was missing from this year's team. When he started the season, I mean, like, they almost handed this team the national championship in all the polls. All right, so really maybe your question is, is not even a question, but it's an answer, is typically you would say, are we going to see a team that struggled or are we going to see a team that is dominant? And then if it's dominant, the 16 or 15 point line makes sense. If they're a struggling team, it doesn't. But except we haven't really seen that dominant team. We have not seen the dominant team and what we haven't seen dominant that we've seen in years past. The defense has played good. I mean, they're, the defense is holding them in there. The offense has not been explosive against these teams. Uh, that's where everybody's down on them. And when you're laying a lot of points, no matter how good the defense plays, you got to score some points to cover double-digit favorites. All right, so looking at my notes, you actually have... Now, what we end up doing is we give an official pick, each of us, on one of the games we preview. And then on the other stuff, we give a bunch of opinions and, and, and tips. You've got your official pick on this game. So before, we'll do a little tease, kind of like the old same bad time, same bad channel. <laughs> we'll do a little tease here. And VR, give us your key point, and we'll double back and get your pick on this game. Okay, bottom line, Florida hasn't had a reason to show up yet, except for that LSU game. When they have a reason to show up, this team dominates. Ten the, the Tennessee game, they didn't have a reason to show up? I don't think so. I don't, I don't consider that Tennessee a good team. I really yeah, don't. They were very motivated. Can we question the motivation? Yeah, but right? it's like saying now they're motivated again to blow out Georgia because all that stuff with the no Sean Moreno and how Georgia celebrated and Florida which, said which they're going to pay the for this for the next five years. And I don't believe in the bulletin board stuff. I believe in, you know, these guys are human beings and, and it's pretty hard to get up for a team that no one thinks is good. And when when you look at Florida. So, you, so let me ask you, you're saying Florida, Tennessee, Florida was enough for that game. I don't I, I don't think they they had any real reason. I don't think so with all the talk with the coach to go out there and perform and totally destroy so this team saying, by 40. I think that was the media saying they're going to go out so there and win by 40 and not the team. 
So you're saying the fact that the line was what it was in that game and it was a high line made that Florida team think we're, we're not mo- – which is – I don't particularly agree. That's a valid right. point. You're saying these kids don't care about the talk radio chat or exactly. they care about can this team beat us? If not, we're going to play some – Exactly, and I think we uh, – the media hyped it up like that. And are, you it wasn't, a, are you a, an a member of the media? Yeah. I don't know. I, I do a little radio now and then, so maybe. <laughs> I don't have the credentials to get in the free stuff yet. But let, let me tell you why. 18-4 and four against the spread versus teams with a winning record. Their last 22 games. So when they're being challenged, they go out and they cover spreads. And this is a team who's usually favored and highly favored. More important, they look bad against Mississippi State. They look bad against Arkansas. They're the bottom two teams in the SEC West. How can you get up for them? This is the week, I think, when we're going to see, is this Florida team that number one that everyone's talking right, about? I'm all, I'm they don't all, pass. That's all the right, problem. All right, all right. I'm, always, I'm always leery when it's this is the week we're going to see the real team. It sounds like a, a boyfriend that's been abusive <laughs> to the girlfriend and said, well, finally no now I'm going to be a good guy. All right, Marco, give us your free pick. Well, we're seven and two with the free picks. We're going to make it eight and two after this week. I'm so going, when you say seven, you the last nine weeks have give, given seven winners. That's right. So right here, right here. Go ahead, the man. old guy. All right, all right. We're going to go with Florida, and this is one of those things. Last week's free pick we talked about. I look at the line and I decide what Vegas is trying to tell you to do. Even though this line has come down from the opening number, this is what I expected the number to do. You wouldn't have thought of this game any differently if they put it out at 14. They came out over two touchdowns. That's the key in this game. Georgia has only lost one game outside of this number. So that the what pub- is that? One game outside of this number. What does that mean? Outside of the 14. They, they've played. Their, their losses have been close. When this won. year. This year. All right. So, okay. I, so every game except one, they've been within either one or been within two touchdowns. Right. And this public- now, clearly the retort to that is Florida is the best team they've played. But absolutely, and and that's what I'm going to look at here. The Georgia defense. Has, you know, has been horrible this year. They gave up 37 points to South Carolina. South Carolina is not an offensive juggernaut. They gave up 41 to Arkansas, and they gave up 45 to Tennessee. Tennessee has not been scoring points this year. The Florida offense will wake up this week. This is a game that they do have on the schedule because of what Vegas Runner said of things that have happened in the past. This is the world's greatest outdoor. So you believe in the bulletin board stuff. Some of the stuff you do whenever it in college football, when somebody like Urban Meyer feels that they were disrespected that year with Georgia in a celebration, they remember those kind of things. They laid the wood to them last year. I expect them to lay the wood again this year. And really, even though Florida's ranked number one, there's a lot of teams that are still undefeated out there. And if they keep having these close games where they just are getting by, you know, we could get down to that final week of the season where it might come down to the computer wait, rankings. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying it's I, I I'm not saying I don't like the pick, but you're saying Florida could go undefeated and not make the BCS championship game. We've seen stranger things happen. I don't know if I have. I just think this is the week, honestly, where their their passing game finally shows up because right. Georgia's just so bad. All right, we got to do a little hyping now. Sorry to jump in. <laughs> it's okay. All right, Marco, you're known as the big game. What's it called? The big country's big the play? The country's big play expert. When did you come up with that? Oh, dude. That was when back we... when uh, Bubby Brewster was quarterback. <laughs> but but all joking aside, your record, t- just tell us. you got you got 40 got my, seconds. I've got my college game of the year this Saturday. We're 24-5 and five <laughs> lifetime with that game. Last Saturday we had our warm-up game of the year, and I'm now 23 and seven lifetime with that game. It was Mississippi last week. We're going to pull off another big win this this week. Last year we had Navy, and they rolled over SMU. It was a blowout from start to finish, that. and we're looking to do the same. That's a proven record. Go to pregame.com, click pros, and you can check it out or pro picks. Okay, that was segment one. Next up, we're going to do another big game preview in college. And remember, you can get all of our videos at pregame.tv or if you want to download and listen, just go to iTunes and search for pregame.com.